RV with me. Seagrin's RV has the biggest and best selection of RVs in all of Northern California. So head on over to Gilroy, right at the Gilroy Outlets and the exciting Seagrin's RV showroom, where it's an RV show every day. Come experience all the fun and freedom that the RV lifestyle offers. Camping has been a huge um, tradition in my family. It's like having your own home on the road. I love it and uh, love everybody that's here and uh, it started us on a whole new adventure. Yeah. So here Definitely. we are. Go Seagrins! Well, RVing really is all about having lots more fun. Welcome to the show. And I'm so excited to have Edward Saldana. He's one of the owners here at Seagrins RV. Great to have you, Edward. Hey, thanks, Jules. Welcome to the show, folks. Well, listen, we have so many fun things planned today, right, Edward? Absolutely. We're going to go check out this family at the Colorado River. Let's see how much fun they're having RVing. That's right. Check it out. We love the RV lifestyle. And especially during COVID, it allowed us to just really get out and still enjoy life and feel normal and gave us the freedom to go different places. One of our recent trips was to the Colorado River and that was a great place because not only does it give you, I mean, we're right on the water. So the kids all got to play in the water, the dogs play in the water. RVing is really about just enjoying family and having everything at your convenience. We love RVing because it's a great way for us to take our home on the road with us. And in our travel trailer, we have a king size bed walk around, which makes it really convenient. And then in addition, we have pocket doors. So when we want our privacy, we can just easily shut the pocket doors off. Grandkids could still be here. And we have bunk beds for the grandkids. So they love the fact that they can just go in their own little space and it feels like their own little fort. In addition, our dinette set, it easily sits, seats six of us. And in the kitchen, we also have a farmhouse sink, enough counter space to you know, make meal prep very easy, a three burner stove, an oven, microwave, a refrigerator and freezer, just all the comforts of home. At the end of the day, RVing's just a great way to travel and a great way to make memories with your family. That's a good-looking family down by the old Colorado River. That reminds me of a joke. One Sunday morning, a preacher was preaching a sermon, saying, If I could gather all the beer and wine in the world, I'd throw it in the river. If I could gather all the whiskey in the world, I'd also throw it in the river. After his sermon, he sat down. The choir director stood up and said, Congregation, Please stand and sing hymn 134. Let's all gather at the river. <laughs> well, Scott, wasn't that so much fun, the Colorado yes, River? Yes, okay. I've been there. It's beautiful, Jules. Okay, I haven't been there, but I'm telling you, I want to go now. So what's your favorite thing about going down there? Well, I love that it's on the river. Yeah, And then, of course, of course you can take the boat over to the casino. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that's a good one. Everyone loves a casino. Well, talk about having fun. Okay, I'm just going to tell you right now, the, as a mom, the number one most important thing I love about this trailer is the two-door entry. I mean, come on. Yes. So, so first off, I guess we should know, what are we standing in? So this is, again, a travel trailer. Now, this is a travel trailer built for the entire family. This is a two-bedroom bath and a half. Did you uh, get that one full bath and right. a half? In the bath. Oh. The bath, you know, the bathroom for the kids are in the back. So if they're getting up at late at night to go to the bathroom, they're not coming up to bother you in your bathroom. Well, one thing I love about that back room is the bunk beds. Come on, everyone loves yes. bunk beds when you're yeah. little and your yeah. own little have a bathroom. It's just awesome. And this is a bunk room. So the door closes and they have their own room. Yeah, it's awesome. What about yeah. the living area here? What do we got? So we have good counter space here. Big, beautiful, once well, again, I farm love sink. The farmhouse sink. Yes. I mean, they're all the manufacturers yes. are going this way. Yeah. I think they're so cool. And they're and, easy to use. Right. I mean, even like the fixtures, I mean, the colors are just really modern. Right. Yeah. And then again, if you roll around, if you'll see over here, this is the couch and a dinette. So when you come in, you're not just obligated to sit at the dinette. You get both the couch and the dinette. And this makes into a nice bed for two adults. Oh, for yeah. two adults? That's wow. actually a very nice additional bed. Well, now this is a slide out as well, right? Yes, nice big slide out. So with the slide out, once again, the thing it adds, so it really takes a trailer and makes it become like honestly i feel like it's a motorhome almost with how big it is yes i love that yeah. so okay so that sleeps too now the other thing we, we glossed over it earlier but i'm gonna come back to it if you don't mind sure the other thing that rv manufacturer is doing that i absolutely love and i've said this before but is the cover that comes over the, the that's a three Stove burner right? right 
So you have all this room for entertaining. And prepping. And prepping. Yes. I mean, you could do all your prepping, then after that it becomes a place for entertaining. Now also, um, I gotta go back to that dinette. And that drops down. That also makes into a bed. And if you notice, there's nice, easy access for storage up underneath the two benches. Okay, so the table actually drops down and becomes bed for two. Yes. I love that. Okay, so the other thing, look at this nice entertainment area. Yeah, I mean, big, how beautiful awesome. TV if you wanna sit back and watch, you know, if the weather's bad, you wanna watch a movie with the kids. Yeah. yeah, so let's go back to where the magic happens, the master bedroom. Yeah, the nice part <laughs> is, once again, you mentioned it, but you have an additional uh, entrance. So if you wanna pull over on the side of the road, just easily run back, open up your door, and then use your restroom that way too. And that's the, and that's a good sized restroom with a good size, once again, that corner shower, I yes. really like that. Yeah. But once again, whether it be, you know, your kids or you've just got some guests, not everyone needs to go in and use that master bath, which is really nice. Right. Well, the other thing I'm noticing, oh, I didn't, didn't notice the microwave either. The that's microwave, cool. full size refrigerator, right. pantry. Nice, and there's a lot of storage in here. Yes. I mean, really, there is quite a and bit of storage. And you can access it. Yes, it's easy to get to, a lot of storage underneath here. Well, honestly, from one thing to the next, from the front to the back, both the doors, I love the feel of this trailer. So what is this? I didn't even ask you. So this is a Sundance. It's okay. made by Heartland, okay. another good manufacturer. Nice. And then, so again, folks, we have an RV for everybody and every lifestyle. Come on down, bring the family. Let's all take a look at it. It sounds like fun. Yeah. Folks have asked how I was created, who originally designed and drew me. The person that designed me was named Summer Reeves. Summer said she wanted to draw a fun-loving horse that always told the truth and laughed a lot. And in just 15 minutes, Summer designed me. Thank you, Summer. We know you're in heaven. We'll sure miss you. RV with me! Well, I'm so excited to have Lisa, one of the finance managers here at Sequins RV on the show with me today. So good to have you, Lisa. Hi, hi, everybody. Well, listen, we're going to do something different. We're just going to have some girlfriend fun, okay? Right. Kind of discovering this RV together. Now, this is a 27-foot uh, Sunstar Class A by Winnebago. Now, what I love about that right off the bat, Lisa, 27-foot means easy to drive, yes. right? I mean, I love the captain's chairs, but I know you've been RVing for how long now? About 25 years. Okay, I also know you're a big, as you say, cooker. Yes. So let's start with the kitchen. Tell us what you like and maybe what you don't like. Okay, what I do like right off the bat is the faucet. You can bring this down, squirt down your sink, and I like that the sink is separate. Yeah, no, that's funny. So I, I like the farmhouse sink where it's more open. I don't like the, the separate, but for me, I think it's because I'm a little messy, so I need more room. <laughs> <laughs> I also notice the stove but no oven. Oh, right, no oven. Right, so oh, I'm a big cooker. Girl. Hold on, isn't that a convection up there? Oh, okay, it is a convection actually, which is great. So this goes as an oven or a microwave. However, there's still no oven. Oh, you're a serious cooker. I'm a serious cooker. Okay. <laughs> I do like the stovetop though. I like that the stovetop is really an extension of the counter when you're not using it. Right, love which that. Which is great. And then you can flip this back. And then what you have is you have three burners and you have a solid grate, which means that you can move your pots, sliding okay, them. I never would have thought about not that. Not picking them up and moving them. I love them. that, yeah, nice. Slide them right over. Okay, awesome. Now it's a good size refrigerator. Now we all know this is quote unquote, you know, command central. Yes. But I was curious, I don't know what's going on with the key. What is that? That is for the bed that goes over the captain chairs, which is the driver and passenger seat, and it's a lock on it, so okay. little hands can't get a hold of it. Oh, okay, so having it up high, that's a big deal. Yeah. Keeping your kids safe once again when you go RVing. I Absolutely. love that. Okay, so the um, dinette's cool, right? Yes. Sit the family floor there, that becomes a bed as well, right? Yep. Um, I know the couch, that becomes a bed, doesn't it? It sound? does, and it sleeps too very comfortably. Okay. So what, moving back to the bedroom, what do you like about that? I love that the bed is a walk around bed, which makes it easy to make. And I also love all the storage. There are drawers that are underneath the bed, That's two large cool. drawers. Yeah, that right. you can put stuff in. There's a great closet that has a lot of space. And then there's where the bathroom is as well. Okay, so what about the bathroom? What's different there that you well, like the, or maybe don't like? The first thing I notice is that it's got a door, not a pocket door, which is nice. And it's got a shower door instead of a curtained door. For okay. the shower. Okay, really yeah, nice. Which I love keeps that. the water inside nice. as opposed to out on the so floor. So a lot of cool things. Some we like, some we don't like. But here's the other thing. I I have to admit, I'm a glamper. I like to bring all my stuff when I... It takes me probably longer to pack than it does for the trip itself. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> but I know you're more of a ponytail, no makeup girl, yes, right? Yes, I am. So we want to get some of your tips on what you pack in your RV ahead of time so we can get ready to roll on the adventure sooner, right? Perfect. Okay, that's coming right up. All right, girl. I know you've been RVing for years. 
So what I'm looking for today is some tips on what we can pack an RV and leave it so that we can hit the road sooner and have a lot more fun. Sounds so good. So take it away, girl. Okay, so I always have a pair of leggings to put on in the morning. Okay. I always have a couple pair of jeans, a light sweater, a t-shirt, a heavier sweater, a jacket, whether it's a lighter jacket or a very heavy jacket for at night around the campfire. Okay, that's good. But I also roll everything. Oh, okay, good tip. Yes, it saves a lot of space. You're able to pack a little bit more if you roll everything. Okay, so the whole layering tells me that it would work regardless of the season, right? Yes. So one t-shirt, one, okay, good. All right, yes. I like the tips. Okay, so what about, listen, I, sometimes I bring way too many shoes when I go RVing. What really, what two pairs should I bring? I pair of tennis shoes yeah. and a pair of flip flops. Okay, well, there you go. I got that. Okay, yes. so what are the, some of the things that people don't think about, they might forget that that's happened to you in your experience of RVing? Bathing suits. Oh, right. Yes, I always pack a couple extra pair, not only for myself, but if somebody else has forgotten their bathing suits. Okay, all right, got it. Okay, so now what's the with the binoculars? Oh, I always bring binoculars. That way you can keep an eye out for birds or if you're taking a hike in nature. Oh, I thought it was about checking out the other people in the campsite. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that too. A little spy action. <laughs> yeah, Why not do? Okay, good. So all these things we can pack. It doesn't take up a lot of room. I love your tip about a folding, I mean, rolling the clothes yes. for extra room. So that's wonderful. So thank you. We appreciate your tips. So fun to have you on the show. Thank you. All that great advice on how people need to pack for that quick, fun RV getaway. But please don't forget about your trusted horse. We travel light. All we need is an extra blanket and a pail of hay. <laughs> RV with me. In today's RV review, Jules will be reviewing the Solus 59PX by Winnebago. Designed for flexibility and freedom, with a Class B motorhome, you can pull over at a moment's notice for adventure. Now, I work really hard to be as objective as possible when I review RVs. But then I got to thinking, you know, most of the time I say I'm reviewing this RV based on me and my family for an hour RV lifestyle. Well, here's the truth. Not every RV is designed for four people. Now, most Class Bs are designed for two, a husband and a wife or a couple and, and their dog or cat or something like that. So I'm going to look at this RV through those eyes. Now, when I first got into this RV, the chairs face forward and I thought, OK, well, that's nice. And then there is two extra seats here for two more people. That's nice, too. But RVing for me is all about having more fun, having more freedom, and also enjoying when you're inside the RV. So here's a couple things I discovered that I really like. First off, both the, ca both the captain chairs and the, or I should say the driver and the passenger chairs swivel. And then I thought to myself, all right, well now we've got room for four, but there's no place to, you know, really even put a, read a book or have a glass of wine or a cup of tea. Well, behind, a little, after a little investigation, behind those two chairs here, I discovered this little support and this table here, which go literally takes about 30 seconds to put in. Now we have a little eating area. I thought this is awesome. So once again, this went from being uh, RV for two people, obviously two more people can sit here, just all facing forward, to now there's an entertainment area. And for me, it's all about having a lot more fun. Now, the other thing I wanna point out is this Solus also comes in another model where actually it pops up and now they're sleeping for two more people. So in addition to the sleeping in the back and here, in addition to having the seating for four, with the other model, you can also have sleeping for four. Now let's check out the kitchen area. Now, before I get into the features of the kitchen that I may like or not like, I want to point out something really cool. Now this is a 21 foot class B and that comes with a lot of benefits. Number one, you can park a 21 foot RV in most driveways. You can park it at the shopping mall. The other thing is this, let's just decide you uh, want to go on a, a quick weekend getaway, haven't made a reservation at an RV park or can't get one. With a 21 foot class B, you can literally pull over on the side of the road and uh, park for the night and make a last minute decision and have a lot of fun. Now, speaking of pulling over for the night, what I really like is these are basically like a blackout curtain. Nice during the day when you want the light, but all you do is zip these up and there's also one on the other side, and now you can feel comfy cozy at night. All right, so checking out the kitchen area. Now, once again, it's a class B, there's not a lot of room, but it has everything pretty much what you would expect. A small refrigerator, it has a two burner cooktop, of course it has a sink. It's not, you know, not a lot of fluff going on here as far as size, but it does have what you're looking for. Now, the only thing that I would like to see, even if it's small, would be a microwave. It does not have that. 
Now the other thing is you're not gonna find a lot of counter space, but one thing I discovered that was really cool is this. You pull up this little tab and out comes this extra little table area. Now, I would use this for you know having extra food out, if you're having you know dinner or, or a little coffee and, and bagels in the morning or whatever, and then it so easily gets put right back into this area here, so that's awesome. Now, the next thing is, the, just wanna make sure I have that secure, is the bathroom. Okay, so you do have a toilet, of course, and you have a shower. Now, here's the deal. I measured the height in the shower. It only measures 5'10". Now, that would not work for my husband. He's 6'1". But what you can do is you can sit down on the toilet, I'm just being honest here, and, you know, shower yourself off. It's not meant to be a full-size glamorous shower. It's meant to get yourself clean, and basically you can do it within the confines of your own uh, motorhome or RV, which is awesome. Now, checking out the bed area. This is so easy. Once again, you pull this latch out. It comes down. Once again, nothing in this RV takes much time at all. You fold this out and look at this. Now you have an awesome bed. So there's so many cool things about this Class B motorhome that I really love. Once again, designed for two people and a cat or a dog, whatever you want. You can have a lot of fun on the road. This would be so much fun for a great weekend getaway. And here's my rating of the Solus by Winnebago. For features, I give it a nine. For fit and finish, I also give it a nine. For overall storage, I give it a 7.5. And for ease of drivability, I give it a 10. So my overall rating of this Solus by Winnebago is an 8.875. Now the suggested retail price is $126,481. And here at Seagrens RV, you can find this cool Class B motorhome for $99,985. Well, Scott, I'm loving this whole farmhouse, barn door look. You know how popular that is yes, right now? Yes. But in an RV. Yes. I mean, come on, what is this? This is actually, folks, this is a Stratus travel trailer made by Venture RV. Very good quality and a lot of fun to use. So you want to take a look around well, and we'll see? Well, start with your favorites. Yeah. yeah, give us a little tour. So I love the kitchen. I love the counter space. Oh, that, well, wait, look at that farmhouse sink. It's come a big, on. beautiful farm yes, sink. Yes, and the fixture. Easy preparation. You've got the beautiful oven top there. With, My, with, with how many? Three burner? Three burner oven top. Nice. Oven. Okay, so obviously you can't cook a turkey in that. No, but, but you I can, can warm up some, you know, buns in the morning. Yeah, that's right. And warm up the RV as you're doing it. <laughs> exactly. So you've got your microwave. And look at the beautiful color offset. The dark tops, but the beautiful white interior. It's such a great Very feel. modern look now. Yeah, now I look, this is like a bar. A it's a bar stool. Bar. Yeah, it's a bar area oh, with the bar, the bar stools. stools. Okay, so I could be at the RV park, little lounge singer. That's right. No, Belly right joking. up to the I'm bar. Just <laughs> no, I mean, this is great for a glass of wine or even, you know, uh, you can eat breakfast there. Yeah, the kids can have breakfast there in the morning. I have never seen bar stools yeah. in an RV. This yes. is awesome. A beautiful little setup. And then as you move on, you've got your big TV right centrally located. Now, is that is that on a mount where I could watch it in, on the couch it or is. bed? It turns towards the living room and also turns towards your nice. bedroom. Nice. I love that. Yes. Awesome. All right. Okay, so what about as, the bed? As we keep going around, this is a full-size queen bed, folks. A regular RV queen is a little shorter. This is a big, beautiful And RV I like bed. the walk around, so you don't have to trip over anyone at night. You know what I'm no, saying. Absolutely. And what about the window? The window, you want to lay awake at night and look up at the stars, you have a front window by the bedroom. Beautiful. Well, well now here's the thing. Before we go any further, I mean, this is so much yeah. room. It feels so... Okay, wait a second. So what this is, is a big slide out. I didn't even out. notice the slide. Yes, you've got a nice that. big slide out with the couch. Now listen, Thomas Paine fun furniture is beautiful. Right but you also get a massager in there and heated seats. Massager heat and theater seats. And recliner, that correct. That is so it's nice. It's beautiful. Oh nice. my God, so I love the good size refrigerator. Yes. Fridge right. and freezer set up there. Yeah. And as you keep going around, you'll start to notice that barn door look that I you really love, like. Yes, I love it. And that. then the storage. And then the nice big bathroom that well, you've okay, got so back there. Well, okay, so check out this shower. Yeah. I mean, I love nice, the, the corner yeah. rounded shower, Very the nice Euro vanity. Looking. Oh my God. Okay, so what about storage on the outside? What's cool about the outside? So what's, we're going to go to the outside. We're going to take a look at how big and beautiful the awning is and how it covers the entire front patio, which is your patio area. Now that's an automatic awning, right? Correct. Gone are the days of push, the crank yeah, thing. <laughs> push a button, put it out. Let all the family stay under there, have fun. Mm -hmm. It's where your fire pit and barbecue all you know, right. Everybody has a good time out there. What about the exterior store? Storage. So you are going to have pass-through storage outside. So you do have an ability to store quite a bit outside. Nice. Well, once again, my friends, I have to tell you something. I've never experienced the whole farmhouse barn door feel in an RV, especially a trailer before. Yes. So this is fabulous. The other thing I love you didn't point out is 
the floors. Yes. So gone are the days of the carpet. That's right. Now it's a vinyl flooring that's stainless and very easy just to sweep everything right out the door. Okay, but it looks and feels like really cool hardwood. It I is. mean, this is fabulous. Yes. Even if you don't think you like RVing or you don't like RVs, come, you gotta come down and check this out. I'm not being a salesperson. I'm not a salesperson here, but that's this right. is fabulous, Scott. So I love this. Yes. Once again, Sequence brings in all these cool products. Right. And folks, we really do have an RV for every lifestyle. Come on in and see us. Let us show you. I love that. Thanks for being on the show today, All Scott. Right. Thanks, Jules. Now, I've said this many times before, but Sequence really is passionate about offering an RV for every lifestyle, and that includes the luxury lifestyle. Now, today I'm down in Southern California with AJ Thurber. He's the Vice President of Sales with Gretsch RV. So great to be here, AJ. Thank you for being here, Jules. Oh my gosh, well listen, I have to admit, I've said this before, I'm a glamper. So I really like all the, the bells and whistles, and I like a little bling too, and when I saw these, Although there's not really any diamonds on them per se. When I see them, I see diamonds. These are beautiful. So Thank listen, you. there's a lot of Class B's uh, camper vans on the market today. What makes you guys so set apart? Well, uh, Gretsch Motors has taken our 38 plus years of manufacturing custom vehicles and brought that to the motorhome industry. And we really believe we've set a new standard for the Class B market and redefined what a, a Class B camper van should be. Our, our goal is to provide the absolute highest quality, best fit and finish, Class B motorhome on the market. When you look at our motorhome, you're gonna see a, really a return to handcrafted coach building and just remarkable craftsmanship throughout. Okay, so now I love that. So let's get to the fit and finish. Now walking in uh, this model that has the four seats in it, walk us through and show me what, you know, show us what us girls want. Show me the luxury. I sure will. <laughs> so yes, we do have two floor plans. Our number one floor plan is the lounge floor plan which has um, swivel seats for the front driver and co-pilot seat, and really then nice. captain's chairs behind that that swivel. And there you can put a table and so on. Great for dual use for a mobile office or, you know. Entertaining. Entertaining, right. you know, great for tailgating. The other floor plan we have is our tour floor plan, which has a larger galley and a larger cabinet area with a wardrobe and eliminates those two front seats. And we'll walk you guys through those. A lot of standard features. Our goal with this product is to have absolutely everything as standard and really no options whatsoever. Everything you can think of is standard. The ride quality is amazing because of our VB air suspension. Again, VB is uh, the only air suspension system that is approved by Mercedes-Benz, part of the Master Upfitter program, and just makes this motorhome ride like an absolute dream. Well, okay, so getting, and I love that, everyone's a comfortable ride, no doubt, but what I do love about these is they're not just necessarily for RVers. I mean, if you're new to the RV world or you're curious to get into the RV world, what I love about these is you can take these to your kids' soccer matches. You can take them, like my son golfs. We've taken these before and, you know, he's, we see him tee off and then he's playing 18 holes. I don't see him again, but we can stay cool and comfortable. And one thing, now what is the um, fabric that's throughout that looks so luxurious to me? In so these all ages? of our seating surfaces are made out of ultra leather seating surfaces and our power rear sofa bed is also memory foam. Beautiful. Now the other thing I like is the, um, on the, the one unit with the two seats, that has a bigger kitchen area. Uh, tell us a little bit about that. Well, the tour, flam, tour floor plan, my apologies, is the one you're thinking of with the larger kitchen area. So that's all Corian countertops. First of all, all of our cabinetry throughout the entire coach is a European hardwood veneer and hardwood cabinets. We also have the curved radius doors on the overhead cabinets. And again, Corian countertops. Um, you'll see LED accent lighting throughout the entire motorhome. Yeah, well, I love it. Now listen, this is pure luxury. I've reviewed a lot of RVs. Um, AJ, now I'm going to be reviewing this Strata in an upcoming episode, but just to tell you right now, you have to come on down to Seagrins. I have not ever seen or set foot in a more luxurious or higher quality RV, and I can tell that with the fit and finish. So thank you so much, AJ. Thank you. Stay tuned for an upcoming episode uh, where we're, I'm going to review these, but these are coming to Seagrins now, so head on down. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. And Edward, I had so much fun co-hosting with you today. It was a lot of fun, Jules. And on future episodes, we're going to have RV tips, places to go camping, and where to have fun with your family. Well, speaking of fun, we've got to start having fun. Let's do a little dancing. Here we go. Come on, See you next baby. time. Let's do the twist. Come on, baby. Let's do the twist. Take me by my little hand. And go like this. Yeah.